Hi, it's Stuart here doing a second video response to 16 Bit Brothers, um, your favourite arcade machine. Uh, I really did one, originally did one, um, and uploaded it, and it was quite funny. I had a funny hat on because Long Boys Post 1975 made fun of two spots I had on my head saying that was snipers trying to shoot me, so I put a hat on to hide that. And I got out an electric razor just to show Monkey Spice 5000 that you can actually shave with these without any power. It turns out you can't. Anyway, um, and to top it all off, um, the conclusion of my video was that my favourite sit down, my favourite arcade machine was the sit down Star Wars machine, um, which Lawrence Boys Post 1975s also uploaded and said it was, and his reasons were basically exactly the same reasons as mine. So, I'm going to do something slightly different on this video. Um, I'm going off on a tangent, but stick with me um, if you'd like. It's up to you, it's not really up to you. It's not really... No skin off my nose. Now, a couple of days ago, I saw Wooden 37's video uh, where Isabella showed off her games collection, and I loved the pride she had for that game collection. It reminded me what I was like when I was about that age, to be honest. I was so much pride in my game collection. Um, at the moment, we have a new arrival about to come to the family in November. I've got another boy on the way. I've got a 21-month-old already who absolutely adores Song of the Hedgehog. Anytime Sega's on the telly, uh, I'll play something with Sega. He sings the Sega theme tune, and um, he just loves Sonic being on the telly. I got to play it, and Sunday mornings, when I get up with him, he can happily there playing with his train, but he'll grab the controller and have to say, Dad, I play Sonic, and he needs me to play Sonic. And I would actually love my two sons to actually have that passion in gaming. I really hope they do it, because I'd love it. We can sit in this room, we can go through all my old games, we can play the Mega Drive, we can play the Saturn, we can play Xbox, we can play whatever consoles out at the time, and just relive some of my experiences. And let the let them experience the, the joy of playing a game with the person sat next to you. Um, even if it's one player passing the controller over, uh, and, and doing the thing of either every life or every level. Um, I'd love them to, to relive some of my, what are very influential years of my gaming uh, life. But there's one aspect which they will never ever experience, and that's the arcades. They'll never experience the excitement of walking into an arcade and seeing a new machine and trying it out. They'll never experience the excitement of walking into an unknown arcade and through all the noises of all the games, of all the chatter, of all the noise, of all the coins being put into the machines, you can hear your game in the background somewhere. You can hear Ryu say Shuriken, and you know Street Fighter 2 is somewhere in this arcade. You can hear the phrase, Welcome to the Fantasy Zone, and you know that Space Harrier is in this arcade. You can hear in the background, um, he's on fire, and you know NBA is in this arcade, and you must find it. And it's quite sad that those memories can never ever be replicated. They'll never know what it's like to hold the gun of Operation Wolf and feel it vibrate for the first time as you enter a car just until, in, until all these people with moustaches, obviously Middle East people, aren't they? Um, they'll never know what it's like to get into an afterburn machine and be rocked and rolled as, as, the, as your Tomcat um, does loop the loops and whatnot. That you'll, they'll never be immersed in the Star Wars sit down cabinet in near darkness. You are flying that X wing down the trench of the star of the Death Star. They will never ever experience that. As as games become more mainstream and more socially accepted, it's actually caused the death of the most sociable aspect of gaming, which is the arcade. So, I'd actually change my mind now. Although I do have fond memories of the Star Wars sit down cabinet. I think my favourite arcade cabinet, I think it's all of them, even the bad ones. They've all got great memories. Jump cut. Sorry, the cat wants to come in. Um, so on that rather sombre ending to the um, video response, I'd just like to remind people that it is only 39 days and 5 minutes to play Expo in Manchester. See you there.